Hello, my name is Maria and I'm a scientist at BioBus. Welcome to this Explore at Home challenge. Today, we are going to be making Burley's funnels. A lot of bugs live in soil. In fact, they are the base of many ecosystems. They keep the soil healthy and they provide nutrients to other animals that eat them. The Burley's funnel will allow you to catch a lot of bugs without having to crawl around everywhere looking for tiny creatures living in the soil. The trap works like this. You collect some soil or some leaf litter and place it on the top part. Notice how it goes from wide to thin. The bugs that are living in the leaf litter or the soil are going to crawl downwards and fall into this container where they can't escape. Can't some of the bugs just cling to the leaves? Why Ooh. won't the bugs might just cling to the leaves and not go to the bottom? This trap actually uses the behavior of bugs that usually live in soil. If I am a small bug that usually lives amongst litter or in places like this, like in, in, in soil like this, do you think that I like to be on the surface? Do you think I like light? Or do you think I like to go down? I think you like to go, uh, maybe, yeah, down. Maybe, yeah, into the Yeah, yeah. My natural behavior usually is of oh. going downwards. Oh, now we know how it works. For making a release funnel, you'll first need something to make the funnel out of. This could be an actual funnel that looks like this. Or it could be the top part of a plastic bottle that you cut that looks like this. You'll need to add some type of barrier to the bottom part of the funnel. This could be a hardwire mesh or it could be a loose cheesecloth. This will allow bugs to fall to the bottom part of the funnel, but it'll keep the soil or the leaves that you collected on the top part. Now you will need a container for the bugs to fall into. This could be a glass container, a recycled food container, or it could even be the bottom part of the plastic bottle that you cut. Place a little bit of water in the bottom container with a dash of soap. This will keep the bugs from crawling out. Now you're ready to go collect some leaves. Make sure to take with you something to put your leaf sample in. Write down the date, time, and location where you got your leaf sample. Carefully place your sample in your funnel and check back after a few days. Write down how many bugs you collected and what you think they are. You can even make a scientific illustration of them. Please share your results with us. I'm really excited to see what you found.